opera creates this extraordinary ability to take a, something that has been turned into the mythic through the sublimity of the music and at the same time reflect on, on contemporary experience in a way that makes us as contemporary human beings feel like it's possible for our lives to be sublime. That's when Caravaggio doesn't take a cliched face, but he has the revolutionary moment where he puts a real Italian peasant or someone off the street that he found or a prostitute, and he puts them into a biblical story and you suddenly go, the Bible means something to me and to us. And that's what opera has been doing since the beginning of opera. It's saying it's about us. Donizetti created this music for us. We carry it around with us. And so since the beginning, I'm always trying to set, it, set all of my operas and my shows in, 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 the, in the place and in the era and the, the environs of the people who are watching it because the gift that Donizetti wrote was to create something to, truly timeless, which is a gift for you as well. It can feel relieving or relaxing to escape and go to a Donizetti and see it set in a different era. But it's, I think it's less of a transformative experience than the moment that if you can go, wow, this is about me, my family, my friends, us. And that music was created to be utterly contemporary and it is utterly contemporary and I think it is shortchanging to make it less than contemporary.